What's up guys? We got Vanish Favonir coming from Takaratomi and I'm excited for this one for sure. Look at that nice cool box. Got to respect the, you know, Japanese Korean uh, packaging. It always looks really cool. You know, it usually has an anime character on there as well, but it is looking really nice. So let's take a look and see the bay. See if I can do this. Whoa, I pulled it straight out of the box. That's pretty awesome, yo. Look at that. Talking about vanish and making it reappear. So really quickly, this thing just looks gorgeous. I like the green. That metallic green looks super duper regal. Got the uh, the gold dragons there, clear chip, and the dark deep purple. Now, what's interesting about this is, I'm sure you'll know, this is, uh, let's take a look actually at pulling this apart. So. With the new dynamite styles, you have a high mode and a low mode. So what they're doing now is they're adding like the armor ring into the actual energy layer. It's a very interesting concept, but this guy is pure rubber. Isn't that something? And then basically if you put this on top, like so, and then you put this underneath, you make your energy uh, layer and your entire setup a lot taller, which is called high mode. Um, generally, I like them so far in low mode, and then when you put it in this orientation with the chip basically on top, and then you put the armor underneath, then you're going to get the, the more compact, shorter low mode. All right, that's this part. Let's take a look at it in the weighing. With the chip, 32.9. This is pretty beefy. It also comes with kick, or excuse me, it does come with kick. Kick! Cool. So this one is, let's take a look here at the performance driver, 9.4. And then we're going to do taper, and we can take a look at them closer, 30.23. So yeah, as you can see, Dynamite Battle is really ramping up the weight and a little bit more of the interchangeability as far as high mode, low mode. It does kind of get a little bit less customizable compared to the previous generations, that being Sparking and GT, because with those you can do like armor swaps off of the discs themselves, and then you know, like the GT chips and everything like that. Um, but now a lot of times, a lot of pieces are fused together and um, you know, it can only be used with specific combinations. All right, well, let's take a look at Z forge disc so tapers interesting as you can see it tapers so essentially it's supposed to give better stamina because as the weight distributes outside that's going to give more centrifugal force which is the energy rotating from the outside to create more spin so as far as how it actually performs that's yet to be determined from you know my testing i mean it seems decent nice little design there and then kick. So kick is cool because it has this free spinning large bottom disc here. The uh, the tip does seem pretty sharp at the very end. So basically, uh, there's also a spring for this. So the disc, uh, this plastic disc here will help the the bay, you know, like stand back up. Obviously, in the anime, there's like some cool, you know, storyline around this, like you know, rota uh, excuse me, recoiling back, attacking, and stuff like that. Uh, just from the performance standpoint though yeah i mean this is supposed to be able to hit the floor and not create too much friction because when it does get let's say pushed back or you know when it drops or whatever it gets hit at an angle this will still spin and then hopefully be able to push it back up and obviously it's all built for stamina all right so those are my initial impressions again let me know what you guys think i'm definitely doing a lot more research as well i'm excited to see how this will perform competitively in the meta so far, I'm thinking though it's going to have to be uh, defensive and definitely more of a tank because the rubber, even though you would think it'd be cool to attack with, it seems like it's going to be all absorption. You know, I mean, again, this could be change in the future, who knows? Or, you know, maybe you can still do attacks right now. But what I've noticed is let's say you take something like the Judgment Joker from GT that had the rubber attack power, you had sections that were rubber, but you still had like the metal, excuse me, the, uh, the hard plastic in the energy layer. So there was something solid for the rubber to kind of like hit and rebound with, right? And attack. This thing, it's all rubber. So when it gets hit or when it hits, the entire thing just like absorbs, right? Like it just 
absorbs in. I don't know if this here is enough. It goes pretty, you know, it's pretty thick all the way around. So like with, with Joker and other rubber attacking layers, there would be bits of hard plastic around mostly all of it before you, you know, you have the, the sections of rubber here. So, I mean, it's a cool idea. They also have a little bit of a gap in there. So this creates even more absorption, as you can see, like it'll, it would get pressed in. And that's not really enough rubber to do an attack, as you can see, that's that's pretty thin. So that's only gonna basically just press in and not really like do somewhat of a an attack, right? But regardless, I mean, it's really cool, right? It's the first thing that's been all rubber. It'll definitely be fun to play defensively. Uh, it's gonna come down to stamina and this also spins left. So you gotta think about that in terms of opposite spin matchups or left against left, so. Cool. Well, anyways, Dynamite Battle has some really cool blade, uh, Beyblades. I've already gotten the ones that I really, really like. Looking forward to combining them with Sparking, my favorite ones, and making some powerful and competitive combos. So thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Definitely, definitely consider getting this for your Takonatomi collection. And Super Fun Force, Captain Gamesta, will be coming back at you guys. Peace.